Hey, good afternoon, 8th and 9th graders. This is to all the PE, so 8th graders PE, 9th grade PE. I'm going to do something special for y'all. We're not going to do health anymore for this three weeks because the last day is May 22nd. And so I'm not going to do health anymore. We're going to do PE because I know I haven't done any exercise. We haven't uh, done anything really in PE. And so I'm going to give y'all an assignment. Now, this is a three-week project beginning today and ending on May the 22nd. Now, it's going to be a Monday through Friday workout, so you're not, you're not going to have to do anything on the weekend, okay? But there's three steps to what I have for y'all. And uh, before I start off, I, I want to say uh, the scripture for the day is, is from Psalm chapter 4, and it talks about how we should rest and ponder when we're, when we're in our beds to ponder in our hearts uh, God and, and to seek after Him. And one of the biggest aspects of uh, being healthy and exercising is having good rest. And I want, I want to encourage y'all today from Psalm chapter 4, and that is called the Evening Psalm. And so basically David is talking about how he can rest in peace because he knows that God is his refuge, that God is his safety. And so I'm, I'm praying today that y'all know that God is your safety and your refuge and that you get good rest because with doing these exercises and being active, y'all know if you're not getting rest, if you're staying up all, all night playing Fortnite or if you're staying up all night doing this or that, then it's not going to help you in your physical, your fit, your, your physical life. And, and also uh, spiritually, we need to be aware of, of God and spend time in prayer with Him and 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 know him more and i'm preaching to myself when i'm talking to y'all about this because it's easy when you get out of the routine of things it's easy not to uh be in god's word it's easy to do do this or that and uh i know that that personally so that's that's the scripture for today is to ponder god and to seek after him and find your refuge in him and so let's pray before i start i'm gonna do a quick prayer and I hope you all are doing well. Lord, I thank you for these 8th and ninth graders. I pray your blessings on them. May these last weeks be weeks that they do the best they can in their schoolwork. Most of all, may they spend time meditating on your word, meditating on who you are. Lord, uh, you are our strength. And without you, your word in our hearts, the bread of life in our hearts, we're going to be weary. We're not going to be strong spiritually. And that's the most important aspect of our lives is for us to be strong in you, Lord. So I just pray for your guidance over these 8th and ninth graders. Lead them close to you and help us as we do these exercises that we are reminded that we're doing it for you and your glory. In your precious name I pray. Amen. Amen. So what I have for y'all today is I'm going to show you an example of what I've been doing and, and how I've been able to complete what I've been doing. I, I did a workout. It's called Body Beast. And it's basically a picture of this huge ripped guy from Israel. He was a bodybuilder. And I'm not going to show you the picture, but I am going to show you what I did. All right. What I did here, I have a place to work out. So some of y'all might not have a place to work out, and that's okay. You got to do the best you can with what you got. But here, I had this calendar that I went by. You can see the different days, and you can see where I checked it off here, coming down, coming down here. And I, I have completed yesterday was my last day and I completed a 12 week workout. All right, it was it wasn't I think it was uh 6 w workouts a week. And so I had one day off. Now I want y'all to do something similar to this, but it's just going to be like I said before, a 5 day workout. And there's three aspects I, that I want y'all to focus on. Uh the first one is I'm going to give you the workout. Okay? So I want you right now I want you to get a, a piece of paper and a pencil, and I want you to write down these these workouts, okay? Because I'm giving you the workouts to do. All right, and you can you can come you can be flexible. You can come up with some other workouts too. I'll give you examples, but you're going to have write this down. You're going to have a Monday through Friday workout. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're going to do something that incorporates the the muscles. All right, it's going to be some type of weightlifting, some some type of body body workout where you're incorporating the muscles. And Monday, 
is going to be your day of upper body. So you're going to focus on the upper body on Monday. That means you're going to do push-ups. Okay? That means that you're going to do, uh, if you have bands, assistant bands to do pull-ups, that means you're going to do that uh, to help you with your upper body with pull-ups. That uh, means that you're going to do curls, shoulder press. I have over here weights. These are these are weights that I use. And I don't know if y'all have any, but if you do have weights in in your house, or if your your parents work out, or if you have a, a place to to use weights, then you need to use weights. Okay, you need to uh, do curls. And curls is basically when you when you curl the weight up like this. Uh, you can do shoulder press where you have the weight beside you, like this, and you, and you go up a shoulder press like that. Uh, you can do it's all sorts of things, really. Uh, if you want to work your back out, you can do uh, downward downward rows. I think is what they call them. Where if you it, also if you have a bench press like this, you could do uh, bench press with the weights. So it depends on what y'all have. I know some of y'all have weights and you have bench press and you have uh, places where you can work out. So I want you to, to do that on Monday, focus on upper body. If you don't have weights, I, I want you to figure out a way where you can do exercises. You can do push-ups where you are. There's no excuse for anybody. You can do push-ups. If you can't do a push-up, get on your knees and do a push-up. All right, and, and I want you to do at least 15, let's say, let's say, I want you to do at least 20 minutes of focus on the upper body, okay? You you can do, I'll show you something else you can do. Let's see me put my, put my camera here. All right, you can take the bench. If you got a bench or even if you got a chair, if you got a chair, you can take the chair, put it out this way, and come down right here and up. That's the upper body workout. All right, the closer your feet are, the easier it is. The farther your feet are out, the harder it is. All right? So that's the that's idea. Okay? Um, so I want you to do, on Monday, upper body workout. Okay, on Tuesday, I want you to do something that has to do with cardio. That means your heart. So I want you to, to walk for 30 minutes. Uh, if, you, if you're a jogger, if you like to run, uh, run for for 15 20 minutes uh, play sports and I want you to record this that's that's the second point I want to make I want you to record what you're doing on Monday Tuesday date it so today for instance is Tuesday May the 5th so you're gonna write down Tuesday May the 5th and you're y'all gonna walk today you're going to uh, do some type of cardio you can do aerobics if you want to uh, gymnastics but I want you to, to date it and write down what you did, record it, and put all this together, okay? Because at the end, on May the 22nd, you're going to have to uh, take a picture of, of all these days, and, and you should have something written down for each day what you did, okay? So, Monday, upper body. Tuesday, we're focused on cardio. Wednesday, we're doing legs. Uh, we're doing uh, lower body on Wednesday, okay? So legs <clears throat> squats you can do it regular air squats if you got weights dumbbells you can do uh, squats with the dumbbells when you, it's important when you're doing dumbbell workouts that um, your your shoulders are back your chest is up and and you're you're looking forward and you're going down right there uh, close to to your, the dumbbells close to your knees down and you're not trying, don't go below parallel, don't go too far down, but uh, you need to get down enough to where your butt is close to parallel, all right, with your leg, with your knees. So you're getting that workout with your legs. So uh, you can do lunges with the dumbbells, you can do lunges without the dumbbells. All right, lunges is when you step, you step forward and, and you come down. So like, like for instance, right here, I step forward, I come down and I come back up. That's a lunge. All right, and then you can rotate it, go to the other leg. That will work your, your legs out as well. Uh, squat jumps, that means you do a squat and then jump up in the air and come back down. That's, that's a good combination for your heart and also for your legs. And 
You can do wall squats. I mean, right here with this refrigerator, I can come down, put my back against the refrigerator, and come down right here, and I'm in a squat. See? I'm in a squat right here. And hold that for 30 seconds. All right, if, you're, if your legs are strong, you can hold that squat and put a one leg out and hold it there. It's, it's tough like that, single leg squats, single leg wall squats. But you can you have flexibility. You can make up exercises if you want to, upper body. You can. I want you to write them down, though, and tell me what you did, okay? So that's for Wednesday. Basically, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're going to do workouts with weights. You're, you're focusing on your muscles. Tuesday and Thursdays, you're going to focus on cardio. So walking, running, uh, playing sports, those kind of things. So Thursday, you're going to do a walk or run or play sports. And then Friday, you're going to go back to the upper body. All right? And the way this is going to work, that this first week, beginning today, May the 5th, so it's May the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th, because it's just going to be Monday through Friday. So today, y'all are just going to have four days of working out. All right, but the next week, instead of doing upper body twice, we're going to do lower body twice, and then we're going to rotate it. So the, the third week, y'all are going to do upper body twice, and then, and then uh, lower body once. So that way, you're rotating it. All right, so you're not doing upper body twice every week. Does that make sense? I hope I didn't confuse y'all there, but basically it's, it's you're your rotating. So if you did two upper body workouts this week, next week you'll do two lower body workouts, and then the next week you'll do two upper body workouts. So that way it's keeping you balanced with with uh, your upper and your lower. And so I want y'all to record your workouts and uh, and by paper. And third... Third is I want you to take a video, a video of you working out. It, it can be like two minutes long, just an example of you working out, and I want you to send it to me every week. So this week, I want you all to send me a video by Friday of you doing a workout, okay? The next week, you'll send me a video by the next Friday of you doing a workout, and then May 22nd, when that comes, you'll send me a video on that day as well. All right? So I want y'all to write these things down so you know what to expect. And then lastly, and the fourth point I want to make is I want you to write an essay. And this might seem like a lot of work, but I'm not giving y'all any health. And I haven't given you any PE, so this is all y'all are going to have to do for me. So it's not going to be a whole lot of work. I want you to write an essay. Of, let's say ninth graders, two pages, double-spaced, and eighth graders, one page, double space because ninth grade you're older and y'all can do more work all right but i want y'all to to focus on this essay tell me how these three weeks have helped you and how exercise has benefited you and uh and tell me how how it's gone okay and um, i want y'all to be faithful to your workout and and getting it done okay and writing it down recording it's going to help you do that so let me know if you have any questions. I'm gonna send this out to y'all today, and send me a question. Or, I mean, send me your questions, and be sure some of y'all forgot to email the test to justwaters55 at yahoo.com. So be sure to send me all this assi all these assignments to justwaters55 at yahoo.com, or either text me, uh, text me pics of your workout or videos that you're doing to my phone. But y'all aren't gonna have to send me. Uh, the recordings of your your assignments until May the 22nd, but the videos you have to send to me every Friday, okay? So uh, you can do it either to my Yahoo account or my text message by phone, okay? So God bless. I hope you all having a great week and miss you. Talk to you later. Virtual hug.